Facebook accounts are being hacked almost every day and one of the things very simple about this is that it's not just the proficiency of the hacking but sometimes the simple things that most Facebook users overlook makes them vulnerable and makes it so easy to hack the account. Today I'm going to share with you seven perfect things that you need to do on your Facebook account to make sure that your account is not easily hacked. Okay, welcome back again to Smart Depot today. I'm so excited to see you here again. So if you're new or you like our video, you just click on that subscribe button right now. It really, really encourages us to keep doing and doing more things. Okay, so if you've done that, uh, let's go into why your Facebook account's been hacked today. The, the problem is not just basically from Facebook or that Facebook is not secure. The problem is not also from high profile hackers. The major problem is the neglect of many Facebook users about some of the basic security settings that you should always turn on in your Facebook account. So right now I'm going to show you the seven major things you need to turn on and set and do in your account to make sure that you're not hacked. Okay, let's get started. Uh, number one what we're going to look at here is the username. Now make sure that you're not using your phone number as a username for signing in into Facebook or you know when you're signing up. So why it's very important is that sometimes if something happens to your account, uh, information may be sent straight away to the phone number that you used to sign in uh, or reset. Now the problem is that if you lose your line uh, between that an hour to 34 a day, maybe depending on how long it takes before you can actually you know file a claim or retrieve your line or block the number, someone else will probably have access to your account. But if you are using an email for the sign in. You can always easily log into your email uh, from any other device and then check out whether anything is going on on your Facebook account. So if you have already done that, you can go into the setting and change it as we'll show you uh, as we go further in this video. Now, the next one, number two, is about password. Now, this is paining me because uh, the few persons I've just dealt with the account being hacked recently, I realized that many of them were using their phone number as password come on for crying out loud your phone number is a public knowledge many people know about it so please do not use your phone number as your password it is not acceptable so and even your birthday your date of birth and other stuff number three is personal information verification now this is the setting uh, we're going to go into the setting the security setting here this is from the pc uh, uh browser uh, for Facebook, so um, I'm going to go and use the mobile. So you, many people who use the mobile can also know how to set it straight from their mobile. So this is Facebook mobile app. So you just go into the setting and then you click on your personal information. So here we're going to verify. So for this particular account that I'm using right now, the email is verified. So whatever that is verified, you see it there. The email is verified, but the phone number has not been verified. So um, what we're going to do right now is to quickly verify the phone number. As you can see, Facebook is asking you to confirm. We're going to click on confirm. And what Facebook will do is that they're going to send you a verification code. So once you click on confirm, they will send you a verification code. You see, now it didn't take time for this one. And the SMS just comes in straight to this phone number. And then you, all you have to do is to put in the code. And hit continue and you are verified so this is the very very critical inside this personal information you have to make sure you verify the two of them with this it will be harder for someone to try to you know hack your account and identity confirmation is it's something different you probably don't need it except you want to run for office Number four and five have to do with uh, logged in devices. So let's start with devices where you're logged in. Many people don't go to check this. Uh, as you can see, there are many devices you've logged in. You can actually simply go in and log out all the section or pick it one by one and log out the devices. If there is any device that doesn't look like you or what you've used. 
still talking about the login you have to turn on login alerts now this is very critical even me <laughs> i didn't turn this one on because this was from my own account if you don't turn this on you would know when somebody is attempting to log into your account or where there is an authorized unauthorized login turn it on right now and the next thing you have to do is uh, contacts you have to turn on trusted contacts put in about three persons that through which you trust you know maybe family or friend that you can retrieve your account from if you know there's a case of hacking number six is the most critical about security and login and this have to do with authorized logged in if you have logged in into some devices in the past like i went to my own history and i was blown away now this is my own history of devices i've logged in with and some of them date back to 2010 10 years ago now the problem here is that you will not get notified when someone logs in to your facebook account with this same devices and this is how many people are hacked some of us who have done to cyber cafe login cyber cafe different system and everything if somebody you know logs in into this system and it's part of your authorized login you're not going to get notification and people wonder how just wipe all of them out delete all of them and keep your account secure so the final one i'm going to do is two-factor authentication this is the seventh one the perfect one and when it comes to two-factor authentication i advise people to do it with the authentication app now the reason why i do that is that i can also set up authentication app in browser plugin in pc in different places so that uh, i can also back it up to the google uh, drive or cloud or any other thing so once it is there for setting it up in app i just copy the code just copy the code and put it into the authentication app dot party authentication app and there's uh, that you know just get the code and for do that it was to require password for you to confirm it so this is very 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 critical things that you must do to make sure that the account is not hacked the story going on about facebook account hack how it's destroying lives marriages making people to commit suicide please don't be a victim for that so that's about it for today and make sure you apply this thing share with your friends your family make sure they watch this video they apply these steps to their own facebook account so that they won't be hacked you know recently some people who are close to me have been hacked and i looked at it and i was like no you can't be using your phone number that is public as your password and some other simple neglect that people do uh, so make sure you follow some of us we're doing this video subscribe because i'm going to do a series on this one i'm going to do another video that has to do with how to make sure your bank account is not hacked so make sure you subscribe make sure you share this and make sure uh, that you uh, turn on turn on the notification bell icon so that when I do it you get the notification so that'll be it for now let me hear from you in the comment section and I'll see you next time peace out subscribe I'll see you.